Caillou had enjoyed a long summer break from school. He'd had lots of fun going to water parks, camping in the garden with Daddy and Gilbert, and playing in the park with Rosie and all his friends. But now, it was time to go back to school. Good morning, Caillou. It's time to get up. You don't want to be late for your first day back at school. Do I have to go back to school, Mommy? Yes, Caillou. You've had a lovely summer, but now it's time to go back and see all your friends. And besides, I thought you wanted to show off your new lunchbox. Oh, yeah! I forgot! And look, Caillou. Here at the end of your bed, your new shoes. And your new backpack. <gasps> Do you need any help getting dressed? It's okay. I can get dressed all by myself. Okay. I'm going to go and fill your lunchbox with a special surprise lunch. A surprise? That's right. A special treat for your first day back at school. Hey, Caillou, you look great. Are you ready for your first day back at school? Almost, but I can't tie my laces. Come and sit down. I'll teach you. First, you take one lace and put it under the other to make a cross shape. Then, we make a bunny ear out of each lace and cross one bunny ear over the other. The bunny then runs around the tree and then down into its hole, and you're done! Wow! Why don't you try the other one? First, I make a cross. Then the bunny goes in its hole, then around the tree. <laughs> Almost, Caillou. Keep practicing and you'll have it in no time. Caillou, look at you all dressed by yourself and ready for school. Daddy helped me with my laces. Is my lunchbox surprise ready? Here it is. You're not allowed to peek inside before lunchtime. Otherwise, it won't be a surprise. I promise. We should get going, Caillou. Have you brushed your teeth yet? <sighs> nope, I'll go and do it now. <laughs> My, you do look grown up. Caillou made sure to take extra care brushing his teeth so they were all nice and shiny. Well, Caillou, have a lovely day at school and enjoy your surprise. Bye-bye, Mommy. And Leo! And look! There's Emma! Hey, Emma! Dinosaur sandwiches! They match your lunchbox, Caillou. Wow! And a banana with my name on it? How did it grow like that? Wow! I've never seen that before! It's my special surprise! <laughs> it was another busy day in the classroom when Mrs. Martin called for the kids to quiet down. She had an announcement to make. All right, kids, settle down, settle down. Okay, now we have an exciting thing happening at school this week. It's the school talent show. The class couldn't wait to get started on practicing their talents. But what was Caillou going to do? Hmm. When Caillou got home later that day, he searched the house for things to do in the talent hmm. show. <gasps> From skipping... <gasps> to singing. He even tried dancing. Ah! Ah! 
Caillou was beginning to wonder if he'd ever find a talent for the school talent show. Hmm, what's the matter, Caillou? I don't know what my talent is. I've tried everything. Well, hey, Caillou, what about this? What do I do with this? Well, Caillou, it's a magic wand. You can be a magician in your talent show. Here. <laughs> okay, Daddy. So what magic should I do? You just wait here, Caillou. I'll be right back. Moments later, Daddy was back carrying another box. It was a hard black case, and stamped across it were the words Magic Kit. Wow! Now, Caillou, this used to be my Magic Kit when I was your age. Now it's yours. Use it at the talent show and show everyone what you can do. You sure do, Caillou. Now, get practicing. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Caillou <gasps> practiced and practiced, and the next day at the talent show he was ready but starting to feel nervous. He was up next. Hey, Caillou. It's okay. Don't be nervous. You'll be great. Yeah, Caillou. Just go out there and have fun. <gasps> My name is Caillou, and, and I'm a magician. Behold. Caillou whispered the magic words, tapped the hat with his magic wand, and... Meet Teddy, everybody! <laughs> and now, for my next trick, look what happens to Teddy when I do this! The crowd went wild for Caillou's tricks. He was so proud of himself. <laughs> Are you excited to come to work with me today, Caillou? Yeah, look at what Mommy made me. Wow. What a great tie! <gasps> what are all those numbers, Daddy? Well, Caillou, if you press a number, the elevator takes you to that floor. Why don't you give it a try? We're going to level four. Good morning, Boris. Oh, and this must be Caillou. Your daddy says a lot of nice things about you. Good morning. Caillou, this is Valerie. She runs the whole office. Wow. Very nice to meet you, <laughs> Miss Valerie. So, this is where Daddy sits every day. <gasps> what do you do, Daddy? <laughs> well, Daddy does lots of things, Caillou. 
Right now, Valerie needs us to make some copies for a presentation. Copies? But Mrs. Martin says you shouldn't copy other people's work. <laughs> oh, Caillou, we need to make some copies so that everyone can read it. It's kind of like a show and tell. Oh, cool! Well, you take whatever it is that you want to copy and put it up here. Then, you press the number for how many copies you want to make. And they pop right out into that tray. Wow! So it can copy anything? <laughs> well, not quite anything. Oh, uh, careful, Caillou! Valerie needs me. I'll be right back. Why don't you finish putting those copies together? Finished! Excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? He's about your height with a yellow shirt it's and... It's me, Daddy. Now I'm a business person just like you. Oh, Caillou, you don't need glasses or a mustache for that. <gasps> but it does suit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time for Valerie's big meeting. So we've had a special helper around the office today. Caillou has been helping Boris prepare for today's meeting. And he really has been lending a hand. <laughs> that was so cool, Daddy. When I grow up, I want to work in an office just like you. <laughs> and you'll be the best office worker there is. <sighs> We're almost there! Let's go sledding! Clem? It's a long way down. I've never done it before. What if I can't do it? What if I fall off? We could head down to that smaller hill. It'll be easier. I felt that same way when I was skiing. You did? Yeah! I was so excited to go skiing for the first time. My daddy suggested I try sledding instead because skiing for the first time can be tricky. But I didn't want to sled. I wanted to ski. <laughs> the 
lift took us higher and higher and higher. I started to feel a little nervous. Come here, Caillou. Let's get your skis on. I got into my skis and couldn't wait to get started. Okay, Caillou. Are you ready? Now, you need to bend your knees, but keep your back straight. That's very important for balance. Skiing is all about balance. Let's try going in a straight line first. All right now, Caillou. Are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go! I couldn't stay up and fell over. I was so upset. I'd waited so long to learn to ski. But then I noticed Rosie and Mommy a little ways down the mountain. They were sledding! Can I, Daddy? <laughs> of course, Caillou. You can learn to ski another time. We can start off slow. Okay, are you ready then, Caillou? Knees bent, shoulders square, get your balance. Off we go! I went so fast, it was the <laughs> best thing ever! As soon as I reached the bottom, I ran up the hill to do it all over again. I didn't lose my balance and I got better and better. <laughs> See, Clem, my daddy was right. I should have tried sledding to begin with. But maybe, after all I've learned on the sled, I will be next year. My daddy always says, never to run before you can walk. Let's try the smaller hill, and maybe you can do the big one next time. Hey, Caillou! Clem! Wait up! Huh? Ah! <laughs> it was school sports day, and Caillou was excited to get started. All his family had come out to watch him compete. All right, kids, the race is about to start. Line up at your marks. On your marks, get set, go! Caillou shot out from the crowd. He was ahead of the rest. Caillou tried and tried to keep his eggs steady, but he couldn't do it. Caillou! You can do it! Just keep going! Take it easy, slow, and steady. Just when he thought it was all over, Caillou decided he wasn't going to give up. Go, Caillou! Go, Caillou!
Caillou reached the finish line, and he was so proud of himself. As his friends lifted him into the air, Caillou felt so happy. He realized that it was the taking part that counted. I did it! in the race, Caillou. Not as well as you, Clem. You were so fast, I couldn't catch you. Thanks, Caillou. But you're a winner, too. You completed the race. Even though it was hard, you carried on. Wow! Thanks! That was a lot of fun. Congratulations, Caillou. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy! Look what I got! Very good, Caillou. We knew you could do it. All right, what's next? <laughs> Looks like Rosie's proud of her big brother. <laughs> hey, Caillou, look what's just arrived. A package! What is it? Is it for me? It's for all of us, Caillou. Come into the kitchen and I'll show you. Okay! Mommy, look! A man brought us a package! How exciting! I wonder what it could be. Want to help me open it? It's a pasta-making machine. Pasta? Like spaghetti? <laughs> yes, we can make all kinds of pasta shapes. I know. Why don't we pretend we're running our own Italian restaurant? Yay! Can we invite Grandma and Grandpa? Great idea, Caillou. We can do a pasta and pizza's evening. Grandpa loves pizza. First, the pasta. We need eggs and pasta flour and a pinch of salt. There! Now, Caillou, slowly put the flour into this big bowl. <coughs> Caillou, that's why I said slowly. <laughs> Okay, now the eggs. Tap them on the side of the bowl like this and pull the shell apart. Great job, Caillou. Me too, me too. Rosie, you've messed it up. Don't worry, Caillou. Maybe Rosie will be better at helping with the pizza dough. Now, Caillou, mix the eggs into the flour. It can be a bit messy, but that's okay. Now we have to knead our dough. That means move it around, stretch it, and press it until it's smooth. This is hard work. My arms hurt. Why don't we take a rest? We can make a menu if you like. Look, Mommy! Rosie has drawn some spaghetti! Well done, Rosie. Let's go and show Daddy. Daddy, look at the menu we made! Wow, that looks amazing. The pictures look good enough to eat. Okay, Caillou, I'll hold the pasta and you can turn the handle. Wow, look, I'm making spaghetti. It looks delicious. Now for the pizzas. Here are the toppings. First, spread the tomato sauce on the pizza. Now, 
Next, a good sprinkling of cheese. Look, it's snowing cheese. And now the best bit. Make a face. Look, Grandpa, we made a menu. This looks great. I think I'll have pizza and spaghetti. They both look so delicious. Me too. Look, everyone. My pizza has got curly hair and a curly beard, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class, it's almost time for the weekend. So that means it's time to choose who gets to take home the class pet, Gerald. <gasps> now, who wants to take him home? Me, 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 Caillou, why don't you take Gerald today? <laughs> so I get to feed him and play with him? And then tomorrow, he gets to run around in his ball. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's breakfast time. Gerald. Hey, Caillou. Hey, Leo. You want to come and see Gerald? I was just about to take him outside. Sure. So he needs to get some exercise, so I put him in his ball. <gasps> oh, no. What's wrong, Caillou? Where's <gasps> Gerald? I left him here, and now he's gone! <gasps> Mommy, I left Gerald in his ball, and he's disappeared! Don't worry, <laughs> Caillou. We'll find him. a busy day, and Caillou wanted a bedtime story. <gasps> Daddy, would you read to me? All right, Caillou. Scooch over. This is the story of a time-traveling global adventurer. In the plains of Africa, wild animals roam. You never know what you'll find. <gasps> Did you feel that, Caillou? Ah! Oh, no! Hop in, Caillou! Ah! Phew! I made it! That 
That was a close one, Caillou. <laughs> In the great ice sheets of the Arctic, extraordinary sights are never far away. Come on, Caillou. Let's see what else we can find. <gasps> Looks like you've made friends there, Caillou. And in the great pyramids of ancient Egypt, you never know what friends you could make. <laughs> wow, Caillou, you look just like a real ancient pharaoh. So do you! And on the other side of the Mediterranean Sea, Paris, a city of history, food, and art. Mm. Bonjour, Caillou. Very good. Mm. What do you say we go and see the real thing? Sure, Caillou. Let's go. <sighs> Quite a view, huh, Caillou? <sighs> That's enough excitement for one night. Time for bed. I just need to get out of here before the sheriff arrives. <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. Well, well, well. Looky here. That money isn't yours. It is now. I'm the sheriff in these parts, and I say you have to give it back. <laughs> If 
you don't take the money back, I'll take you to jail. Well, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. You all might be hungry after saving the day, so I brought you some cowboy cookies. Wow! Thanks, Mommy! These ought to keep you full of energy for your next adventure. Yeah! And Sheriff Caillou is always ready to save the day! Shot, Caillou. Thanks, Daddy. I'm going to be the best soccer player ever. Just don't forget us when you become a big star. <laughs> Come on, Caillou! <laughs> Great job, Caillou! We'll need some of that for the championship game next week to help us win the trophy. Caillou, you just need to keep trying, and maybe next time she'll score. But I want to win. And you can, Caillou. But the only way to do that is to work together as a team. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Caillou! Yay, Caillou! I don't think I can take the penalty. 
should take it. But what if I miss again, Caillou? You got this, Sarah. Championship trophy goes to Greenwood. <laughs> <Are you? laughs>